hello everyone this is satya prakash welcome to my channel in this video uh, i will describe how to add custom rules in the eslint config file this is part 16 of angular cli so i will suggest you before going through this part 16 please visit my part 15 of angular cli tutorial that is explore eslint config file and what are the rules already there to understand it so i'll go to my presentation here so what we will discuss in this session that is define the rules of ESLint config file and add custom rules in the ESLint config file. So I have opened my uh, Angular project using command prompt that is lint new proj and my project is opened using Visual Studio code here that the lint new proj project. So it is the Angular 13 project. So here I want to execute the command for linting the code in Angular project. So this command is npm run and lint. So after executing this command, it will linting all our project codes, whatever in my Visual Studio code here. And if any errors is there, it will show in the command prompt. If it's not there, the lintings are passed. It will show. So we'll, we'll check here what are the response is coming from that command here. You can see it starts linting our project that is lint new proj and it will show the output of that linting. So guys, you can see that all files pass linting, so there is no error. So next step is, uh, I'll go to the app.component.ts file to write some uh, code here. So there is on inside src, there is one app folder and I'll go to app.component.ts file. So here, I will add some code here that I will add here, I'll go to that next line and uh, i'll add one ng on it and ng on it method ng on in it so yeah ng on in it and i'll put bracket here and i'll write some console methods here right so what are the console methods i need to write that console dot log 
and here I want to pass some messages so what are the messages I need I can write here the string so this is for uh, linting right so I have add the new code here yeah so ng on init and inside I have write the console and what I'll do here in the class that is uh, export explore export class app component here I will implement uh, in that is the a uh, on init right so on init so this is the I have write the code for ng on it and I, I just implement that ng on it using the class called app component so export class app component implements that is on in it and after then I will inside the import section I need to pass that on in it so I just copy this one and I'll write this here so I just put a comma here and paste here right so yeah so that's it so what I'll do I, then I'll run the linting process to check whether any error will be found or not so what I'll do here the same thing I'll do the run the npm run lint command here and click enter and make sure this uh, content should be saved right so here if not saved you can just go here and control s put here and after then you can run this command So here I'll check any errors will be found or not. So whatever changes we have made in the app.component.ts file. So it starts linting our project. So guys, here you can see that the all files pass linting, right? So, so what I'll do here, uh, I will go to. Uh, so my requirement is here to show the error related to the console that is the console.log I have used here right so for that I need to write some uh, uh, rules in my project using .eslintrc so uh, as of now it shows that all files are past linting so for my as per my requirement I want to write some rules for that console so that it will show the errors wherever the consoles are written right so here i'll go to the dot es lint rc uh, json so this is my es lint file i already have discussed in my last video right so uh, this is the es lint uh, dot es lint rc dot json file and i will add some rules for ts file so here is the file for the ts so i will need to write some uh, rules here so inside the rules section of that ts file I will write here that uh, uh, no hyphen console right he and I will uh, I just I need to write inside the double quote so yeah and I'll put here colon and uh, I'll mention here that error and I'll put here comma right so uh, this way we can write the rules inside the custom rules inside the ESLint file and just uh, save changes right and here what I'll do I'll try to run the lint again so I'll go to my command prompt I just clear the screen here so CLS and I'll write this command npm run lint
will check after adding this rule this uh, this errors will be showing about this console is used or not in related files so, so we'll check here in our uh, command prompt So guys, you can see uh, there is two errors is showing that is one is app.component.ts and you can see that one error is unexpected console statement that is no hyphen console and another one is main.ts uh, the same error that is on un unexpected console statement no hyphen console. So there is two problems and two errors and lint error found in the listed file in this way lint will show the errors to you if any errors is there. So. Uh, this first one is for app.component.ts that one we expect but for second one that is main.ts we have not changed anything but after linting it shows error for main.ts right so main.ts file i'll go to here main.ts so uh, uh, i'll go to yeah there is the main.ts so it is the main.ts it is the root file and we know we don't change anything here so we need to ignore this console dot relate console related things of main.ts file using two methods so method one is we need to create a new file right so what i'll do here i'll just uh, yeah So here what I'll do, write uh, okay so here the new file so it should become one new file. So you select here SRC and I'll go here. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, I, I just check again. Select this SRC and just scroll down in the in the and in the uh, bottom. You can see one uh, after right click. You can see one new file option. You just click here, right? So here, what I'll do, uh, I'll go to SRC and right click on it and click on new, create new file and name it as a dot ESLint ignore. So uh, you can mention here dot ESLint uh, ignore, right? So the name is dot ESLint ignore. After then, I need to save this file and you can see that. Uh, my files is available here that is dot eslint ignore i go to the, that file all right so here what i'll do inside that I'll, I'll write some code here that src and put your slash and main.ts so it will ignore this our uh, uh, this file while linting our code using this command right that's why in this uh, file I have written src slash main.ts so it will ignore this file main.ts so while executing this command uh, if there is any console uh, codes are written it will ignore it will not show in, uh, throws an error that is the main.ts has console uh, code here so I, I just save these changes right so src slash main.ts i've saved just changes and uh, go to my command prompt here i'll write uh, i'll uh, try to run this lint again so i'll put this command npm run lint
so guys here uh, we can see that uh, we have received the error of app.component.ts file right so console related error that we have expected so here is showing that one problem one error and lint errors found in the listed file so there is a error about main.ts what was there before it was not showing after creating that ignore file right so this is the method one and method two is I'll go to my, I just clear the screen here, CLS, yeah, I'll go to my Visual Studio code, I'll remove that file, uh, that is the ESLint ignore file, so it is not required in method 2, so what I'll do, right click on uh, .eslint ignore and go to delete, so move to recycle bin, so I've just click here so you can see the ignore file is removed successfully so i'll go to that eslint.json so in method 2 what i'll do i will add some rules in the eslint file and the rule is so no hyphen console and here what i'll do i will uh, modify this airline that is the i put some bracket and here i'll add here and i put some bracket right and here inside the bracket uh, i will write that allow and put colon here okay i need to inside the back bracket i need to put the allow and i'll mention here the colon and inside the bracket uh, I'll mention here error right so after then I will uh, add this comma here so what is the line is no hyphen console and colon and inside the bracket I have mentioned the error inside the double quotation comma inside the uh, uh, bracket again we need to mention here allow into double quotation and put a colon here and inside the left and right bracket uh, we have we have mentioned the error inside the double quotation and close this bracket close the bracket again you can check here right this bracket is closed this bracket is closed this bracket is closed right so I our, our line is successful yes yeah, so after then I put here comma so what this line is shows that here no no console is taken an extra option that it will take the object it will take a object in such a way that whatever commands it will allow error right so this line will show the error of our app.component.ts file right so what i'll do after change this i just save these changes so i'll tell again so here no console is taken an extra option that will that it will take a object in such a way that whatever commands it will allow so it will allow the error so i'll go to this command prompt i will write one uh, this try to run the lint so npm run lint again So guys, here we can see we have received the error of app.component.ts file. So uh, as we ex uh, as we have expected, so main.ts file is not there. Even after remove the, removing that dot eslint ignore file, it is not reflecting the main.ts error. That is console related error here. Only the app.component.ts file that is console error, console related uh, statements is. Uh, 
throwing an error that is one problem one error is there so it is working properly as we have expected so this is how we can add custom rules like line break no semicolon no colon and we can write our own custom rules here so this is the way we can use eslint in our angular project so our last uh, line is so what i'll do here i'll go to app.component.ts file and here what i'll do uh, i will uh, remove this console.log from app.component.ts file so i just remove this one and i will save these changes i'll go to my command prompt and try to run the lint and we will see what will happen So guys, here uh, we have uh, seen one another error like uh, we have received an error that is lifecycle method should not be empty and this is because we have used one empty ng on it. So we need to remove that one also, right? So we just remove that. Okay. Yeah, we need to remove that one and after then I will remove from that implements from the app component class right so I just remove this one also yeah now I what I'll do uh, I need to try to run the lint again so I just clear the screen here and I try to run the lint So it starts linting our angular project that is a lint new proj. So guys here we can see we don't have any error related to console and all files pass linting here. So this is the way we can refactory the code using the linting in angular project and we can add the new custom rules inside the rules section of the ts file and uh, if you want to write rules for our html file you can write inside the rules section. So as per my requirements I have write the rules for uh, ts file that's why to uh, uh, provide the error if there is a console related error inside the app.component.ts file so i have mentioned this no hyphen console and write this command for the console no console er error right so i have written inside the ts file section that is inside the rules section so in this way we can custom we can add our custom rules in for the angular project using eslin file and for different uh, files that is for ts and for html we can write so if they are main.ts how to ignore that main.ts i already have implemented two methods one is create the new file dot ESLint ignore and the method two is we need to allow the errors if they're in such a way that to add the to take the to take a object in such a way that whatever commands it will allow error 
so that this is this statements will uh, show that uh, this is the meaning of that statement right that is the no console is taken an extra option and that it will take a object in such a way that whatever commands it will allow error so after adding this main.ts uh, it will ignore this main.ts it is the root file whatever the no console has implemented inside that main.ts so it will show only the error of that console.log implementation inside the app.component.ts file right whatever we have expected that was fine in our project so I'll go to my presentation here so define the rules inside ESLint so ESLint is it is a tool and uh, for identifying and reporting the on patterns found in ES ECMS script or JavaScript code with the goal of making code for consistent and avoiding the box so ESLint is completely pluggable every single rule is a plugin and we can add more at runtime and how to add custom rules so first one is go to .eslintrc.json and add the rules for ts file inside the rules section we can add this uh, line no console to uh, if there is a no console uh, console related codes are there in ts file after component.ts file it will show an error that is the console is implemented in that file and it, it also ignored that main.ts file because main.ts is the root file of our angular project so we don't need any changes in there and after then we need to run the command for linting the code in angular project so we need to add this command npm run lint so this one i already have shown you in earlier so our next one is this is my youtube channel subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on dotnet dotnet core c sharp sql server angular and uh, azure and devops and github series also so what we have learned today in this video that is uh, what are the rules and uh, what define the rules of ESLint config file and how to add custom rules in the ESLint config file so that's all today guys thank you for listening have a great day